chronographs. What is it with men and chronographs? They want them on their watches, they never use them, but they look cool and they've got quite a complicated heart. Uh, I'd like to ask you a lot more about this. Hi Andrew, I'm Emmanuel Missilier. I'm the head of the High Complexion Department and uh, today I want to explain you how does it work this useful complication which is the unico chronograph for Hublot. Yes. So if you're okay, let's go to my office. I'll right. show you. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> Settle up again, Emmanuel. Yeah. We're talking about chronographs, uh -huh. and we're talking in particular about the Hublot Unico chronograph. And I have two things to admit. Yeah, tell me. Well, I have two facts that I know. One is that it was the first in house movement for Yeah, correct. Hublot. Correct, tick. Secondly, it's a flyback chronograph. Uh huh, sure. I think we should quickly demonstrate that, and you should tell me why that's any kind of a big deal. Yeah, no Possibly. problem. Okay. No problem. So, first, the flyback. Yes. So, uh, you are uh, looking about a race, mm -hmm. okay? So you start. You start your chronograph. Okay. The first arriving. Okay. So the flyback. You push the flyback, and you have the time, mm -hmm. and you don't need to reset uh, the chronograph. Start. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, just like that. Uh, yeah, just Perfect. like that. It saves me a whole extra click, but it's a very, it's a very cool technical feat. Now, speaking of, I suppose what I'd like to learn now is what else or what is unique about the Unico movement. Oh. Tell me about a couple of things in it that are specific to, to okay. Hublot. Perhaps two or three things. Mm -hmm. The first is that we are using a special material in our assortment. We use a high tech material, mm -hmm. which is the silicium. Yes. And you can show oh, right how here that is, yeah, huh? there are many anchors yep. in uh, silicium and uh, escape wheel also in silicium. Mm -hmm. Now look, these uh, escapements and anchors look very pretty in their cases, but I'm sure there's a reason that material is popular aside from its look. Why is silicium so perfect for this part of the watch? Because technically, silicium needs less energy mm -hmm. to, for the movement to work. Mm -hmm. So for us, it's uh, very important. And uh, um, without uh, less energy, with less energy, we can do more power reserve to uh, the Unico. Yes, because I do know this about Hublot watches, which is that their power reserves are usually noticeably longer than comparable watches. Than yeah, yeah watches. You're, you're right. Mm. This movement have a three-day power reserve. Mm -hmm. And uh, for this, we need a longer mainspring. Okay. If you want to, I want to show you. Before you do, how long is, is a comparable, just an automatic chronograph in terms of power reserve? Ah, uh, usually is about uh, two days. Okay. And we have a three a day whole extra day. Reserve. All right. Yeah, yeah. Is it, like, I'm optimistic here, but is there a way we can see that? Uh -huh. I can show you the main spring of uh, a Unico and mm -hmm. to show you how long the main, the main spring is. Okay, so this is a barrel mm -hmm. with the main spring. Yep. I can show you the main Oof, spring. Stiff little sucker, isn't it? Yeah, and I put it out. Here we Ooh. are. So this like is... a cassette type. Yeah. This main spring is very <laughs> long. For uh, for this, is this type of is this chronograph. fixable? Have we just broken a, a power barrel? No, this one is a uh, is one to show. Okay, it's very long. Yeah. So th this is the th that's the whole length. Yeah. And and maybe so a forty eight hour power reserve might be to here. But we, do we just is it just a case of adding more um, spring? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and lastly, you have yep. one more thing to show me. Oh yeah. Uh, the, the, all the escapement is on a module mm -hmm. and uh, it's very special to Hublot because uh, the balance wheel, the escape wheel and the anchor is right here mm -hmm. on this module and we can put it out in one, one step, yes. only one step. It's in something of a cage. And this this is unusual because the escapement mechanism is usually integrated into the watch. Correct. And it takes yeah. extra, you know, much extra effort okay. to yeah. um, disassemble it from the uh -huh. main body of the movement. So there is a complete uh, movement mm -hmm. with the escape uh, module. And we talked in our last video about 
how long it took to make a tourbillon. It was 16 hours. Yeah. It's a lot of time. How does a Unico uh, chronograph movement compare in terms of time? How long oh, does it take? Yeah, this, this uh, caliber needs uh, less time mm -hmm. because uh, the work is another way to work. Mm -hmm. It needs only one hour and 32 minutes. Which is about as long as I like my movies. I have a short attention span and I have a short video span today. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for coming, Andrew.